There we go, piece of cake. Bingo. Now we're in business. All right, this should do the trick. Here we go. Slide down there. Look on that post. <laughs> Wait till Sam hears about this. <sighs> Onward and upward. Gotta find the highest cell. Oh, shit! <laughs> These burns had a nice view before he was executed. Dozens of birds holed up in here, just waiting to be hanged. Okay, where to? Yeesh, I thought the modern prison was bad. Not gonna lie. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Oh. Oh, 
Man, Sam is missing out. Here we go. Burns his cell. Cell? More like a suite. Okay. Where to begin? All these squiggles and scratches must mean something. symbols for gold and silver. Wait a sec. I saw something like this on the letter. Huh. Well, that's part of the symbol. Ah. Here's the other half. Now then. That's more like it. Okay, got a zodiac symbol. Sagittarius. And the Scorpio sign. Not it. Ten and two. X and II. This is it. Time to head back. Come on. <laughs> Gotta watch that first step. Down we go. Huh. Now what? Whoa! Down we go. Down we go. Huh. Now what?
Ah! Yeah, I see Rape do that. Ah, there goes my shoulder. There's Vargas. I want a cut. <laughs> I want in. I'll give you in. Now we're talking. You made it. What'd you find? Drake? What? The place was picked clean. There's a clue hidden up there somewhere I couldn't find it. Are you sure? Were you looking in the right place? Oh, maybe I just I missed something in the letter. There could have been another tower that collapsed centuries ago. Yeah. Blueprints? Uh, could be. There's a bunch of old files. Okay, great, great. Go look through those, okay? See what you can dig up. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll talk to Sam. He's our Avery expert. Maybe he can make sense of this whole mess. Right. I'll, I'll look through the files. Yeah. Turn around. Done talking to him. Come and find me. You got it. Ah. Gringo, if I catch you fighting one more time, one week in the hole for you. It's a nice acting, Vargas. Almost as good as mine. Huh? Ah. Yeah. Ah. Is here, eh? It's worth the principiante, right? Hijo de puta. Lo siento, chicos. Uh, tengo que irme. Claro, te vas cuando estás ganando. Para ti, eh. Uh, Jesus, uh, they worked you off. Good, you all right? Uh, just another day at the office. Come on. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're gonna keep me in suspense, are you? You were right. <laughs> no, we were right. No. You just gotta find Rafe. No, and... Rafe. Don't, don't start, please. Oh, come on. Like you said, we did this. You and me. Now this rich asshole comes in on the tail end. How long have we been trying to get in here? We had some leads. No, we didn't. Okay, not one. So like it or not, no Rafe, no Vargas, and no getting in here. Speaking of Vargas, we got a problem. What kind of problem? Did he let you into the old prison? Yeah, yeah, he did. Right. After he read the letter. Mm. Hmm. So how much does he know? Enough that he wants a cut. Oh, shit. Rafe, if anybody else finds out about I'll, this... I'll work it out with Vargas. Don't sweat it. Right now, let's just... Let's get on to more important matters. All right. Let's find somewhere a little more, uh, private. Yeah. All right, coast is clear. Okay, so, what do we got? Oh, shit. Huh? Hey. May I? Just be careful, okay? Wood with gold and silver inlay. It's well made. <laughs> it's hollow. <laughs> Why would one of Avery's men go through the trouble of hiding a cheap crucifix? 
It's not a crucifix. Technically, a crucifix is a representation of Jesus. It's not Jesus. Well, you're right. There's no crown of thorns. He's tied to the cross. Well, if it's not Jesus, then... Read the inscription. Digna factus recipimus. We receive. We receive. We receive the due rewards of our deeds. Yeah. Look at you. That's the benefit of growing up in a Catholic orphanage. That's Saint Dismas. Yeah, the penitent thief. But what's the connection? Guys, let's just pretend I skipped all of Sunday school. <clears throat> okay. Uh, during the crucifixion, Jesus is placed between two thieves. Okay, one of them mocked Jesus. The other one, this guy was penitent. Okay, he accepted his punishment with grace. And Jesus brought him to paradise. Penitent thief. Yeah. <laughs> what? You figured it out? There is a cathedral of St. Dismas in Scotland. Wait, the last sighting of Avery was in Scotland. That can't be a coincidence. No. <laughs> You know, I had my doubts about you, too, but... Let's find Vargas. Get the hell out of the shuttle. Oh. <laughs> Let me guess, this is the guy you picked a fight with? Ah, uh, didn't know he had so many friends. Le dije que no habíamos terminado. Mira, ya nos ganaste, okay? Muy tarde para hablar. Aquí no sales! You know what? Tú no te metas! Okay. Did you have to pick on the most popular guy in this joint? I didn't hear you volunteer. Guys, save it for later. Get the thing! I did! I got a present for you! Where the snow chase? Come here, you! I'm good for now. Remember, jab, jab, strike. Jab, jab, strike. Nice work. Going somewhere? Mandalos al infierno. Is it going, asshole? Good work. That worked out well. Good work. What are they saying, Bingo? Sam! Some help here! Get off! Basta de hablar. Alguien más necesita que le recuerde las reglas. Alíñense. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Eh? Dame. Are you bringing in contraband, Fergus? Cállate. Who do you think you are? Llévalo a su celda. Trae los gringos a mi oficina. Déjanos. Déjenos.
took you long enough. We almost got killed, you know? You still might. Vargas? Seriously? Oh, I didn't find anything. It must be in a different tower. Well? How can I say? I was raised Catholic. I always carry one. <laughs> Funny. Hey, 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 look. It's worthless, all right? You think I'm an idiot? Okay, you want to renegotiate, fine. Stop acting like a third world thug. Put the gun away. <laughs> Thank you. We're willing to give you, uh, 10%. <laughs> Think half. We're doing most of the work, 20. And you'd never find it without us. 25 equals 25. Does that sound fair, guys? I suppose I can live with that. Yeah, sure. I mean, 400 million divides nicely by four. Looks like we have a deal. Yes, we have a deal. And if you ever cross me at. <laughs> Jesus. That's that. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Do you want to find out? I'm done. Guys, what are we doing here? We're sticking to the plan. Was this part of the plan? Just follow me. Come on. Come on! God damn it. Rafe, where are we going here? The lighthouse. Vargas said the boat is right under the lighthouse. But which way? I don't know. We'll get outside and figure it out. Shit. Dead end. Uh, the window. Nathan, give me a hand. Hurry up. There, go. We got it. Let's go. Come on. I don't see the lighthouse. Right now, let's just get away from the guards. Down this way. You trusted him. I do. What point? He's gonna leave without us, isn't he? Not if we quit. Come on. After you. They're everywhere. Just keep going. Okay. Looks clear. Damn it, this place is like a maze. Yeah, it's like they don't want us to leave or something. Hold on, amigo. Right. Good to see you. Pick down that ladder for us. Get close. There's the lighthouse. Like I said, stick to the plan. 
The boat's just beyond the wall. No. No, I can't. I can't. can't leave him behind. Nate! Your brother is dead. Either come with me or join him. Just have it your way. Sam. Oh, God, no. 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 Stranger things I've collected along the years. A Spanish doubloon found in a German U boat in the middle of a jungle. Who would have thunk? Sir Francis Drake takes a bullet for Sully. Look at us. you, pal. So many men killed each other for a piece of this. Thanks for nothing, St. Dismas.
Yeah. Here they come. Take cover. I'm surrounded. Bullseye. Don't let him flank you, Nate. Take that. All right. Back. Eat plastic. Back in business. I gotta keep moving. Gotcha. Oh, no, no. I'm out of ammo. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be right there. Like a pro. Yeah, bring it. Well, playtime's over. Really, my style anymore. Now, this was a crazy ride. Hmm. Another lifetime, Chloe. Is this what you're working on?
Brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently, the natives called it a semi. Oh, dear Lord. Kind of so, it, it, boring stuff. But tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is going to like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs, like the second that you got off the plane. So, kind of took this Ah! What? Where are you? I'm in here, being stabbed with a fork. <laughs> oh, really? I'm, what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? what? This one? It's about, you know, the uh, lost city of Bangkok. Not, not of Bangkok, lost city near Bangkok. In or about the city limits of Bangkok. Wow. All right, I'm sorry. No, it was valiant. It I was, was in the really ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really. I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't seen him Elena. in about two years. Well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Oh, stop, I'll do them. No, you on. did them last night. No, you cooked. I cleaned. It's fine. I mean, at least... At least, uh, let me... Let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me, um... Uh, Play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So, what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh, wow. Okay, cowboy. Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to... Okay, here we go. Ah! Crash Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No, no, just, uh... How do you, uh... How do you make it go? Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Okay, so you want to run towards the camera. Run to the camera. Got it. Yeah, I'll press X to jump. Got it. You'll want to jump over all the pits and the obstacles. Psh, come on, that's like my thing. Okay, run away from the boulder. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away from it. I did nothing to this boulder. Use your spin attack. That was, that was, not too bad. What is that thing, a fox? A bandicoot. It looks like a fox. It's like a, a fox in jeans. Okay, smash the boxes. Why is a fox okay. smashing crates? A bandicoot, and that's just, it's what he does. It's a fox, and it's not very realistic. Perfect. By the way, foxes can't do this. It's a bandicoot. That doesn't look anything like a bandicoot. Have you ever seen a bandicoot? 
No, but I'm sure they don't wear sneakers. Okay, grab the fruit. What does the fruit do? A hundred gives you an extra life. A hundred? Who's got time to pick a hundred pieces of fruit? <laughs> oh, what happened? You fell in the pit. I don't know. How do I uh, climb back out? You're dead. Well, that's not realistic. I, I would have climbed back out. He should learn to climb. Climbing's always helped me. Watch that pit. I'm watching. I watched it. These graphics are pretty good, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Why is he stealing all this fruit? Foxes do not need fruit. He's not stealing, he's collecting. Well, it's not his, and that's called stealing. Huh, yeah, well, you would know. What's that? Nothing. I'm talking smack again. Stay focused. Okay, good. Is that it? You asked for it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good really? cleaning. Really? You're gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier on no, easy Just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning you. What are you gonna do? I'm warning In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. You. What can you I'm do in real you. life? What do you think about that? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? Um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. Not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Asshole. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your height, a little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Doctors, they... I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I... I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. Well, Nathan, we killed a guard. Okay, so they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. He's a Sam. I... Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back. You would have come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. You still with me? Yeah. Need some air. <laughs> You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. <laughs> it's a lot to digest, you know? <sighs> but how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Okay? Have a seat. I want to hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. What's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. They tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. <sighs> These were crazy stories. Got shot, hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas. Yeah, that, uh, that actually happened. Come on, man. What did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Uh, do you remember the theory that we had that Sir Francis Drake faked his own death? Yeah, sure. Okay. 
He did. I found the coffin. Off the coast of Panama? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now, get this, okay. I open it up, right? right? And there's no body. But the bottom is his old journal. Are you shitting me? I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I've managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, the engagement ring, the... Engagement ring? I'm married. I can't believe... I, Elena, from the stories, that's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner, at my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you. Nathan, I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about? What kind of trouble? Is the name Hector Alcazar ring about with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but uh, last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. You're not reading the night. Samuel, come here. Listen. The guards, they're singing. Eh, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> I mean... They have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. Oh. <laughs> and when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. <sighs> what will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can, but I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time, which I am sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segment the key. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel, are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Holy shit. Los demás están en posición. Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. <sighs> you remember my. Dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamned. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a 
take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the guards see us <laughs> making for that cross... But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. Mm. Antipasti? I'm all set. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Uh -huh. That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the break room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right. Follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. Gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up to go on vegan. Excuse me. Billy? Are you kidding me? Hell no. I refuse to be. Upon return, I begin the bidding on several items in the state of Sydney for next stop. In the meantime, I've You see, I thought I had a reasonable grasp of French, or at least a possible French accent. But then a few months back, I'm with my girlfriend by the Pompidou Center. I've just sold them those pieces we, uh, uh, obtained last year, you know, those hanging, all thing, I don't know, abstract art shit. Anyway, we walk out past that giant ice bag. What is that thing, anyway? Cellar's just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. Of course they play douchey European techno. Pardon me? Here we are. Hey, let's do this. Oh, hell, it's locked. Shit, it was open earlier. Now what? Can we pick it? No, it's electronic. We're gonna have to find another way in. You see that? Key card, back left pocket. Yep. I'm on it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you wanna do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right. smooth. I'm not even trying yet. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, so close. Shit. 
you, uh, need some pointers? No, just warming up, that's all. Okay. What do you say we just run it like the old days, okay? I do the interference, you make the grab, right? Yeah, good. Go. smooth. I'm not even trying yet. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> and he doubted me. Pleasure to watch professionals at work. This again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Dean Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. And lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. Crap. You see a waiter in there? Nah, just more heavily armed goons. The hell is this? This skate wasn't on the blueprint. Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. I told you it's locked. Trust, but verify. And? It's locked. Right. There you 
go. I see some fence up there. Here we go. Let there be light. Got electrical in this joint. Don't suppose you brought a... Yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Dead end. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. Good job. Hey, uh, should we worry that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross? I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. There you go. This way. Hey, look, the vents. That's our way out. Yep. Let's find something to climb on. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. Holding the lighter. Holding the lighter. Okay, up we go. Right there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? <laughs> and a lot more dusty. Shh, shh, shh. Damn it. Cosa portiamo quello di oro? And Baldy looks like my size, too. There's no shortage of waiters around here. Fresh air, here we come. Hey, check this out. See that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? Whatever, listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? Ah, that must be a bad spot for a signal. 
Hopefully he's doing okay. Bingo. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that to find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Sera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. Hi. Right. So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? Oh, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. Not at <laughs> Sam, you there? Sam? Sully? Great. Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish.
it! <laughs> I can't believe you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> Recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh? Like, dead out? Oh, no. More like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan! How the hell are you? Rafe? How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. Well, what would be the point in that? And these days, I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big scores. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah. I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe. fight. get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this. God, why did I pick the power room? Sí. Ahí 
pagano abbastanza. Se dobbiamo fare anche gli elettri giusti. Eh, di no. Ecco fatto. Oh, speriamo di non dover cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera. Direi che per stasera può bastare. Ma che diavolo? Pronto? Here we go. Now, where the hell are the circuit breakers? Ah, oh, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid, where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the power now, it'd be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here and is right now. He has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing it, remember? What if he calls my bluff? He won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once. Going twice. Scott. Then we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That bid brings Don't us worry. to 120. You'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay. Just gotta smash the lock. But with what? Now the bid has reached 130,000. <sighs> Nope. We are now at 140. Nothing. Damn it. Your bid, signore, takes us all the way to 150,000. There's gotta be something. Come on. Hey, man, uh, I'm starting to sweat bullets here. Yeah, Bidding give me a second. 160,000 euros in the room. Signore, it yes. takes 170,000. We are now at 180,000 euros in the room. Gotcha. We have now reached 190,000 euros. All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's bid, 200,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> okay, let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice? Something odd about this skull, though. Like it doesn't belong to the stone. Well, what's odd about it is that's not Avery's sigil. Huh. Yeah, I mean, the skull should be facing sideways. sideways. What is that? My God. <laughs> you ready for this? Oh, I've been ready for a long time. Let's see what we got. A crypt. Hidden behind a secret door? I assume the secret door was added afterwards. <laughs> to hide his loot. Yeah, one of the old monks wrote this. Oh, gang's all here. Jesus. Dismiss on the left. Penitent thief. Guest is on the right. Jerk thief. 
Is this a door? Looks like a door. I don't see a way to open it, though. What are these star symbols? <sighs> Some kind of lamp. Hey, Smokey. Need your lighter over here. You know, that hurts my feelings. Not as much as it hurts your lungs. <laughs> Thank you, Father Duffy. <laughs> well, isn't that something? <laughs> the light's coming from the other side of the wall. Right, let's see here. Ah, I can aim the lights. Hey, here we go. I think you got that one. Oh, connect the dots. That looks right. Nathan, that's it, you got it. That looks like a constellation. Yeah, that's Libra, the scales of justice. That's an interesting choice for a bunch of pirates. Okay, let's give this a shot. Open sesame. Wrong treasure, Josh. <laughs> well, nice view. No treasure, though. No, but... Look, you see those crosses? Is that a cave right below? Yeah, I think Avery's trying to tell us where to go next. There's one problem, though. Going back that way means we have to go back toward the cathedral. And back towards Rafe. Shit. Well, let's not keep him waiting. Guests. I wish. The storm has been messing with the radios. It's practically useless. If we don't get back from them soon, I'll go check it. Hang on. Oh, oh, oh. Nothing over there. 
Someone took him out! We know you're out there! I can't believe he got away. Apparently, she tossed him out of a five-story window. And he survived. This guy should count his blessings. That auction was fully guarded. Not by Shola. No, not by our boys. All I'm saying, let's not <laughs> underestimate these guys. Let's not make them into something they're not, either. Eh? <laughs> Head back! I 
Apparently, she tossed him out of a five-story window. And he survived. Does she count his blessing? That auction is fully guarded. Not by Shola. <laughs> not by Abba. Him out of a five story window. Then he survived. She's She tossed him out of a five-story window. And he survived. What the? Got something over there. <laughs> Tossed him out of a five story window. And he survived. <laughs> I think we're clear. Well, that could have gone better. Yeah, well, we're still breathing. That's good enough. Let's just get that gate open. <clears throat> okay, you ready? Okay, here we go. Come on! Damn, that sucker's heavy. I know, right? Are you 
you holding up? <laughs> Great. I was kind of hoping to find the treasure back there, but you know, it's never that easy, right? That's been my experience. Plus, there was that cool constellation. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> Under that high cross. That's where Avery wants us. Well, what Avery wants, Avery gets. Shit! What's your status? Hey, Sully. We're on the trail, but the uh, treasure's closer to the cathedral than we originally thought. Oh, boy. So, what do you need me to do? Uh, just keep those engines warm. We'll be back before too long. You got it. Keep me posted. Will do. Very piratey. We don't need that kind of flesh. We don't need rival companies stepping into our jobs. You know what? Forget it. Why'd you bring it up? I said, forget it. Whatever. You there? Wait. What's that? Hey! Nice shot, little brother. I guess there's no getting away from these guys. Yeah, and there'll only be more as we get closer to the cathedral. Here we go. Come on, I'll boost you up there. All right. <clears throat> Hell, I'm too high to reach you. Yeah, hang on a sec. Hanging. Let me see what's by that wooden structure over there. Hey, I got something. Yep, we go. Christ, this thing's heavy. What exactly are you doing? Giving you a way up. That'll support even your weight. Ah, thank you. <laughs> hey, you don't think the monks built this? No way. It's some kind of pulley system. Uh, to lift a whole bunch of treasure? To lift something. I can't believe I missed this. Yeah. Clearly, we were meant to find it together. No, oh, so romantic.
I see a way down on the cliff over there. As long as you avoid that big slide into oblivion. Oh, shit! Oh, Nathan! Hey, you don't think the monks built this? No way. Some kind of pulley system. Uh, to lift a whole bunch of treasure? To lift something. I can't believe I missed this. Yeah? Clearly, we were meant to find it together. Ah, oh, so romantic. See a way down on the cliff over there. As long as you avoid that big hey, we can slide climb this. to oblivion. On my way. Oh, I'm freezing. Okay, if this wasn't such a good idea. Holy shit! Incoming! <laughs> that was amazing! Hope this holds. from here. Where would you be without me, huh? Uh, probably at home. Drinking hot cocoa? 
<laughs> what are you, five? Oh, tell me you wouldn't go for some hot cocoa right now. Well, I mean, yeah. Exactly. Got anything? Nothing. Hang on. So we're done with these idiots. <laughs> hey, careful. Might be unstable after the blast. Who does excavation with dynamite? Mercenaries. I think Rafe would know better, though. Hey, Sam, help me with this. Uh, yeah, well, what if it's the only thing holding the tunnel up? Then I'll apologize. No! There, see? No problem. Yeah, for once. Things look sturdy to you. Sturdy enough. Nathan! Those things look sturdy to you. Sturdy enough. Extra careful on these. Oh, hey, look down there. Old piratey looking ships. No, oh, no, crap. Huh. Remember, extra careful. Thanks. Uh -oh. Okay. Huh. Okay, we're good. We're good.
Don't pick it up. How's it looking? We're about to head into the cave. The cave? Yeah. Might lose contact for a bit. Don't get too worried. All right. I'll keep the porch light on for you. All right. Call you soon. <laughs> we made it. It's quite the detour. Those shoreline assholes were right next to this cave. Yeah, but I think we're the first ones in here. Come on. Through here. And I didn't eat a big breakfast. Creepy St. Dismas statues? Check. Carved stairs? Check. Nathan, I think it's safe to say we're in a pirate cave. Door? That sure looks like it. Come here. Check this out. A little slimy. There's a handle in here or something. Well, give it a give it a pull. What? Could be a trap. You're already in there. What's the what's the worst that could happen? Really? Paradise awaits to those who prove false. Behold your grim fate. Yeah, well, I guess Avery was a better pirate than a poet. This... this isn't Avery's. What do you mean? Look. It's the Rhode Island pirate. Thomas too. Yeah, but it can't be him. I mean, this is clearly his sigil, but two died attacking the same treasure fleet as Avery. Yeah, well, at least that's what the stories tell us. If this really is Two's mark, then that means he's involved in all of this. How? That's a damn good question. So who do you think these guys are? Uh, those who prove false, I guess. I think Avery or Thomas, too, are just trying to scare us. Good thing we're jaded treasure hunters. <laughs> Good thing. <clears throat> that bridge looks about as safe as the others. <clears throat> Let's help up this line. It's okay, it's holding. Come on. Bridges are clearly not built to cope. Sure they are. The pirate code. <laughs> not bad. Okay, okay, okay. at this by now. So, did two build this place with Avery? I, I can't make sense of it. Uh, neither can I. I mean, if Avery's trying to hide his treasure, why involve another pirate? Uh, maybe he saw him as a part of his crew. Maybe he sent him one of those St. Dismas crosses. Yeah, maybe two took all the treasure for himself. Please don't say that. Well, we're gonna find out soon enough. Not going back that way. Uh, at least we didn't get dropped in a pit or something. This is elaborate. You could say that. Found another switch. Careful. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the hand out. <laughs> Whoa. Jesus. It's a pretty elaborate test. Trial? Yeah. And this guy clearly failed. Then let's do better. 
There's something on the bottom there. It's a bucket. Huh. Okay. Now what? <clears throat> ah! Woo! Bucket filled. All right, pass it up to me. Put it back in that big wheel thingy. All right, let's see what these wheels do. Okay, I think I see what's going on here. Is something with the three crosses? Yeah. I'm guessing we're looking at Jesus, our good thief Dismas, and the jerk thief Gestus. I'm gonna figure the white cross is Dismas. So the black one is Gestus. There we go. Hey, Sam, was Dismas to the left of Jesus? Uh, well, are you looking at them from the front or the back? The front. And then, yeah, he was on the left. Okay, that's what I've got. That's it? Well, you could try pulling the switch. I could. Nathan, Nathan. You sure you got this? I... I was. <clears throat> oh, crap! <laughs> the crosses are all definitely in the right place. Well, then I'm guessing the bucket is not. Well, there's the light at the top up there. Something up there moved when you put the bucket on top. There's a channel running from the mechanism to the door. Okay, so bucket on top is good. Keep it there. Okay, that's gotta be it. Nathan, look. I think you got it. <laughs> Right, see? No oh, shishkinates, no make kebabs today. So, if that was a test, what do you suppose it was testing exactly? Filling a bucket? I had to know about St. Dismas, whom I bet Avery and all of his crew were intimately familiar with. <laughs> not that hard of a test. Maybe it's not the only one. <clears throat> Hey, come here. I'll boost you up there. Coming. Okay. I'm guessing we need to get up to that broken bridge. Good guess. Let's look for a way up.
Follow me! Yeah, they're sure not making this easy, are they? I imagine it was easier when all the bridges and walkways weren't broken. <laughs> I guess we're a couple hundred years late. Let's see what's in here. There's a low ceiling here. Watch it. Ow! Watch my ah? Can it? See some light through here. Ah, catacombs. Uh, that makes sense. We're under a cathedral. Anything noteworthy by the dormitory? Perimeter. Not yet. It'll take us a day to move the crane over there. Nadine. No! Just kind of! Yeah! Yes! Yes, definitely! Oh! What the fuck they're saying? The weather is lovely this time of year? I can't see shit! Just keep heading down until we hit the water! Close one, huh? They shot up my goddamn plane, Nate. We're fine, thanks. 
How soon can you get us to Madagascar? No treasure, then? Not yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we're rich. Jesus. I suppose it's a start. Do you think the rest is in Madagascar? Well, there was a chamber back there with a giant map of Madagascar on the floor, so... Yeah, it's probably there. This is beginning to smell a whole lot like wild goose, kid. <laughs> Look, the treasure was never in Scotland, okay? Then what was the point of all that, huh? Of the St. Dismas Look, Cross? it's like I said. I think Avery was recruiting people. The cross was an invitation. The caves were just some sort of uh, initiation. Oh, so we all passed, huh? Congrats, Victor. We get eye patches and parrots now. I don't get it. Why the hell would they go to all that bother just to weed people out? To protect himself. Look, Avery was the most wanted man in the world at that time. He had to enlist people that he could trust in order to keep their treasure secret. What do you mean, their treasure? I, just think about this. Thomas, too, was a successful pirate in his own right. What would he possibly stand to gain from joining Avery? I think Avery sent out crosses only to the other wealthy pirates like himself. What if they pooled and hid all their treasure together? That would make the guns way all look like chump change. Exactly. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so we're exactly in Madagascar. Are we going? Kings Bay. It was an old pirate haven back in uh, Avery's time. I know it well. It's a big place. Anything more specific? Well, that map chamber completely caved in, so, you know. <laughs> what are you laughing about? people who survived the caves, the recruits, what's the one thing they would have left with? There's a volcano on this. <laughs> There's a volcano near King's Bay, which means we need to get a move on. What do you mean? Well, you know, the news, there's been all that flooding. Maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but, you know, no one's hurt or anything. Well, as long as you guys are safe. So are you going to start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're going to need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Oh, you know, you don't have to do that. It's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. So I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you too. the satellite saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. All right. The map shows all these structures around the volcano. Hey, hey, I'll be right back. Nate? One sec. Oh, okay. <laughs> what were you saying, Nate? Oh, uh, right. The map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Now, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. I see some ruins up ahead.
Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan it's hmm. shocking how much, much to see here. Move to the internet. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. <laughs> hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest format. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go! Made it! Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Okay, just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. Slip and slide. <laughs> Nowhere fast. I need traction here. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. All right, hang on, guys. There we go. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my spine. I'm going to scout around. <sighs> Love this weather. Yeah, my car won't fit you here. Got to be a way through Not somehow. Yeah, all relative, I guess. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. 
going off road. It might rain, might be muddy. But with Nate being so eager, he doubled the price. He would have doubled it anyway. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch? Hang on tight. Oh, gee. shit. They take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly who knows maybe for protection British authorities were closing in on him sure maybe uh, he helped them disappear I mean the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things and go and no that was a valiant effort. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. There's definitely ruins from Avery's era. <clears throat> Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to, what, be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. using that expensive winch to pull the car up the hill. Oh, yeah. Why didn't I think of that when I rented it? You rented it? Got some big plans for this winch. There. That ought to do it. Ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Squirt far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> oh, poor oppressed pirates. 
All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. But the point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah, well, it's still taking a long time. Would you look at that? Oh shit! Stop! Stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. And that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight to them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? Again with the wind. 
winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Let's not get stuck here. <sighs> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Ray? Now, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up look. Shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Singing the same damn thing. They found the treasure already. Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam. Hey, hey is that a well? Sully, you were saying? Uh, oh, yeah, right. So, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you... Well, well, well. <laughs> Get it? You know, because it's a well. Sully, you stole your joke. I noticed. Good sense of humor, though. What have we here? Damn, these pirates weren't messing around. Did you find something down there? Maybe. Do me a favor, get behind the wheel for a sec. Will do. Hey, Sully, throw the car in reverse. Okay, give me a Okay, what do we have here? Ugh! <sighs> 
So? Nothing major. I'll show you back at the hotel. Sully, what were you talking about? Uh, yeah. So, you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But, you know, besides... Ah, yeah. uh, see that smoke? Ooh, shoreline, slow down. Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. Well, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad. Never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades. Whoa! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. talking about uh yeah so i actually dealt with alcazar a few decades ago oh. every site needs to be documented before we use explosives <laughs> it's like he doesn't trust us get out of the way and let me take the goddamn picture Thank you. 
Sully, you were saying? Uh, oh, yeah, right. So, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into Shogun. Check it out, boys. What is it? Hey guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge.
How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. Hell, the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. I'll see if I can find something to stand on. Another sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. And Bonnie. Hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. I thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her too. Hey, be careful, kid. Guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. 
Sam! Special delivery! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, kid! You all right? I'm fine! You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm-hmm. I seen a few. I'll bring the car closer. Dude, just relax. I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know? <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid. Let's take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the guns way, Heist. <laughs> Which is worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be partners with him. Guys. We're gonna find it, pay off that lunatic, and still have plenty to spare. Trust me. All set. Easy. Here we go. share on this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but Ooh. I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. Hold on to something. Change of pace. 
great. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. I mean, uh, almost. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. See what we got here. Huh. Looks like there's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Careful with that thing, kid. Heads up! God, Jesus! I said heads up! He's got a lot riding on this. See a treasure, though. Hey guys, <laughs> coming. <clears throat> Come check this out. Saint Dismas, we meet again. 
So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's, uh... Um... That's Adam Baldridge, that's uh, Joseph Farrell, and that's Richard Watt. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys. <coughs> Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. Trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Victor, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's gotta be in one of them, right? <laughs> yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Let's hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? He's confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed, okay? Because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. But still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that no, one. No, 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 no. No, Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. 
if you run into any of those shoreline clowns, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. It's a lemur. Come on, come say hi. It's all right. <laughs> so cute. Ah, do what? Whoa! Hey! Hey, Sully! <laughs> Look who's back. Rabies, Nate. Oh, man. Something's wrong. Right. It does smell good. Oh, watch it. Hey, here we go. Locked. I guess we're gonna have to sneak in. Discreetly. Implied by the use of the word sneak. Sorry. Check it out. That window over there is broken. <laughs> Jesus. Long way down. <sighs> you okay back there? You keep your pace. I'll keep mine. Yeah, well, at least you got a great view, right? <clears throat> okay, let's see what we got. Edward England sigil, just like the map said. So what are we looking for? Good question. Yes. Yes, it is. Hmm. Now, what do you bet? like we're at the right tower. Call us. They don't have the best coverage in this city. Well, no reason to wait. I'll be right back. Thank you. 
Watch your fingers, Nate. Can I be nervous? No, good. Trust me. Where have I heard that before? Leo. I dated a Leo once. Scorpio. That Avery was a Scorpio. Nothing. 
Well, hey, there is that big bell at the top. Hold on, I'm heading on up. fun. Wow. This is a nice view. No, 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 no. Uh. 
Ah, oh, there you are. Sure hope you're doing okay out there, Sam. Okay, Sully, I made it! This... is... gonna... be loud! Sully, heads up! Sorry! The handle broke! I'm gonna have to ring it myself. Ah, here we go. Jesus Christ. Hey, Sally. Oh, shit. At least I got the door open, though, huh? <laughs> That's one way to do it. You all right? I don't know yet. You? Deaf? Come on. Let's see what Avery has in store for us. Sure, why not? Let's see what's down here. Fingers crossed for piles of gold and jewels. Sam, finally, you okay? Just search my tower. I, I, I got nothing. Yeah? No. We're definitely in the right place. Make your way over here. Are you serious? Uh, okay, I'm on my way. He's coming. Good. Sully. Way ahead of you. Whoa. Hey, are those our boys? Yep. Henry Avery. Founders. Founders of what? Worst scavenger hunt ever? <laughs> there are Avery and two sigils. These are a little different, though. Yeah. They got those star patterns on them. They turn, but which way are they supposed to go?
Yeah, d just a second. More pirate symbols. Adam Baldridge, Anne Bonnie, and uh, Christopher Condent. I mean, there's, there's too many permutations. I say we see where that door leads. Still hoping for some treasure, yeah? You and me both. Hey, look, I was right. Baldridge, Bonnie, and Condent. Splendid. Oh, that mustache. It's almost as impressive as yours. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, that's right. Content went by Billy One Hand. Guess he had one made. Huh. Bonnie was a redhead. Yeah. Hey, Nate. Look. Another star pattern. Bottom right corner. Hmm. Hmm. They're just like the ones on the Avery and Two sigils in the other room. Yeah, you're right. Here's another one of those star patterns. Yeah, but this one's different than that first one. Oh, yeah. Good catch. Thank you. See, I'm not just a pretty... F what do you think? Those Avery and Two sigils. The stars on those lined up, remember? I bet these line up, too. Hmm. That's, um, they are, uh... You don't know, do you? Hey, there were a lot of pirates out there, you know? So we're stuck. No, we're not stuck. Would you... Give me your phone. What, you're gonna phone a friend? Close. Text a brother. There. Actually, some nice paintings. If we don't find the treasure, maybe we could sell them to a museum. Let's find those star patterns. Okay, just saying. Hey, Richard Want. Whew, looks like he and Baldridge were in a best wig competition. William Mays. American? Yeah, from Rhode Island. Just like Thomas, too. Hey, Sully, give me a hand. You got it. Thanks. Is it straight? Who the hell cares? Well, I care.
God, look nah. at Farrell's face. Nada. Looks like he'd nah. rather be anywhere else. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Nada. Nah. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, you still in the tower? Yeah, I just uh, climbed back down. What's with the picture you just sent? I'll fill you in later. For now, just tell me who's who. Well, the, the dolphins are Richard Want, the trident is Joseph Farrell, and the two hands with the pearl is William Mays. All right, great. Just stay where there's good reception. I might need your help again. But Nathan, did you find the treasure? No, not yet, but I got a mechanism to solve here. I'll let you know. What is that statue holding in May's portrait? Well, the ship was named the Pearl, so maybe a pearl? Ah, very literal. Not a... Nah. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Not a... Nah. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Nada. Nada. Hmm. Hmm. Here we go. There.
Okay. So who do we have here? Uh... You know, I'm honestly shocked you don't know this stuff. Don't. I, I do. I just want to make sure Sam knows. You know, because he likes to feel useful, that's all. Aha. Uh -huh. Of course. Here. A torch probably fell or something. Come on, let's see what's left. I don't recognize this guy. Looks a lot younger than the other pirates. Nah. That's one. Sam texted me back. Ah, see there, Sully? Turns out Sam doesn't know everything either. Gloating is unseemly. Yeah, I know. Let's just look at the paintings. All right, let's see what he makes of them. You know, that kind of looks... Hold on. What are you doing? You just took pictures. Hold that. You know, Avery's recruits wouldn't have had smartphones, obviously. Obviously. So this would have been the only way for them to get to the next clue. <laughs> These are clues. Yeah, let me see. Voila. <laughs> oh, all right. These could be trade winds. Yeah, and these look like latitudes. Yeah. And I would guess that we are packing our bags again, Boyle. What? Pro Deus quod licentia. Oh, no, it can't be. Can't be what? Oh my god, it's so obvious. Nate. Why didn't I see this before? Jesus, enough of the beautiful mind shit. What the hell are you talking just, just, about? Hang on. Sam, did you get the photos? <laughs> Here I am. I'm calling what I thought was Sullivan's phone, and look who picks up. How you been, Nate? Hey, Rafe. <sighs> been a long time. How did you get this number? Sullivan leave it on a cocktail napkin? <laughs> I wish. That only would have cost me a few shots of rum, right? No, no, I had to pay top dollar to find you guys. Yeah. I hope you didn't spend too much on this whole Avery thing. I hear the competition's fierce. Yeah, you pulled off some clever moves there. But in the end, all that matters is who gets to Avery's treasure first. <laughs> well, that sounds like a bet. Hey, Nate, you know I'm always game, but my partner, well, she prefers to mitigate unnecessary risks. Wow, Rafe Adler, taking orders from somebody else. Oh, how times have changed. Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer here. You drop everything. Go home, live your life. And I'm willing to forgive and forget, for old times' sake. As tempting as that sounds, Rafe. I gotta say, I'm not normally the kind of guy who likes to quit while he's ahead. Okay. Rodeus quo licentia, for God and liberty. These are nice pictures, Nate. Good composition. You hacked our phones. You stole my cross. Listen, Nate. You'll accept my offer. What's it gonna be? Listen, as nice as it's been to catch up with you, I 
really got to take this call, so. Well, Nate, one more thing. Nate. What? You, uh, you do realize that your phones are equipped with GPS, right? I'll see you soon, buddy. Shit. Let me guess. Goons with guns on their way here now. Sam, for God and liberty. Nathan, do you understand what this means? Sam, listen to me. Get off the streets right now and destroy your phone. What's going on? Rape knows where we are. We gotta find some place to hide. Oh. Sam? Sam! Damn it. Hey. Buy a new one. Sam's Tower. It's definitely Sam's Tower. Come on. This way. Pardon me. Excuse me? Excuse me what? How long you think before Rafe gets here? <laughs> Let's not stick around to find out. Sorry, pal. Come on, down here, Nate. Nate, watch out! Shit! Everyone out of the way!
get the sail. We we'll just keep heading downhill. Brilliant. Nick, hold on. Shit. Hang on. Oh, Christ.
You think they sent enough goons after us? Well, we're still alive, so maybe not.
could have survived that. Why chance it? Yeah. <laughs> you good? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I think the coast is clear. Yeah. All right. Prodeus Cordlicentia. This looks like a simple cipher. Forgotten liberty. I mean, it's their damn motto. All the paradise references. I can't believe they missed it. See you two made it out, okay? Way better than okay. We found Libertalia. <laughs> Liber. Libra, what are you? Libertalia. Seems Avery founded the legendary pirate colony. Uh, it's more of a pirate utopia, really. Okay, but what about the treasure? See, as the story goes, this place provided a safe haven for hundreds, maybe even thousands of pirates, and they, they shared everything. Property, resources... Money? And they kept it all in one common treasury building. Okay. So, where is this... Kami Pirate Sanctuary. Right here. That island, just northeast of Kings Bay. 
<laughs> hey, Rafe has a copy of this. Yeah, well, by the time Rafe figures it out, we'll be well on our way to Libertalia. I'm telling you, that treasure is as good as ours. <laughs> Shit. How's the Malaysia job going, Nate? Seems like you're a hair off course. Elaine, it's... It's not what it looks like. Really? Because what it looks like is that you're searching for Henry Avery's buried treasure. And given the shoreline soldiers that are all over town, I'd bet you're not the only ones looking for it. All right, well, I, I guess it's kind of what it looks like. But, but I can explain. Look, it's gonna sound crazy. Try me. Well, for starters, um, this is uh, Sam. Sam Drake, my brother. Hi. I'm sorry. I, I thought he had died in a Panamanian Neat. jail, but I was obviously very wrong. He's been stuck in there for 15 years, and it's because of me. And the guy who broke him out wants a lot of money, and the only way we can pay off the debt is Avery's treasure. But, but that's the good news. We, we found it. it it's, it's on an island just off the coast. Okay, just stop. Was there ever a Malaysia job? I... Okay. Come on, come on, wait. Elena, wait! I don't get you. Look, I, I wanted to tell you. You know what, enough! No, I wanted to, but how could I? I don't know, just say it. <laughs> I had to protect you. That is bullshit, Nate. You just didn't have the nerve to face me again. I, I knew you would react like this. <gasps> how would you react? You lied to me for weeks. If you were killed, I, I wouldn't have even known about it. And now you have a brother. Who are you? Come on. I'm me. Come on, it's me. It's different this time. Oh my God. I have to save him. I don't even care about the treasure. The look on your face when you walked into this room. If you're done lying to me, then you should stop lying to yourself. I got a plane to catch. You do what you have to do. Hey, what are you doing? Go after her. We're not done here. Well, maybe we should be. What are you saying? I'm saying maybe there's a smarter way to save Sam. Such as? Such as we give him a new identity. We, we put him in hiding somewhere. He's I got been contact. in prison for 15 years. He's not going into hiding. OK, fine. You go after your wife. Sam and I will head off for Libertalia. Without me? Come on, you'll get both of you killed. <laughs> really? <laughs> Kid, I've been doing this for a hell of a long time. I think I might be able to handle. Hey, you want to be helpful, Sullivan? Go keep an eye on her. Whatever you say. Got it. Let's go pack your bags.
that, huh? That's pretty cool. Take the wheel for a second. All this running around, surviving by the skin of our teeth. I think we've actually taken a moment to step back and appreciate just how far we've come. Huh? Sick Parvis Magna. Sick Parvis Magna? Yeah. Listen, little brother. She will get over it. I mean, we bring back a treasure like that, anyone would. I don't know. Maybe I've uh, done this one too many times. Somehow I imagined it bigger. Yeah, well, we're definitely in the right place. We'll find us a spot to set ashore. Well, I mean, at least there's an island, right? <laughs> yeah, at least there's an island. Just keep an eye out for anything man made. Ah, you mean pirate made? <laughs> sure. So, maybe Libertalia is more of a small beachside shack. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a tree house. <laughs> maybe Avery spent his entire fortune setting up this treasure hunt. Nathan, up there. Well, that definitely qualifies as man-made. Uh-uh. Pirate-made. Find a way up to that tower. Yeah. Sam, this way. This looks promising. Kind of symbol. It's like a compass arrow. <laughs> How did you know to do that? Well, there's one thing I've learned from you. Press everything. <laughs> Look down there. It's the same symbol. Another arrow. Let's go find out where it's pointing. Boat's right below us. Yep.
Hey, look, it's another arrow. Oh, we left the boat on the other side of the island. Follow these arrows, see where they go. Okay. <laughs> Sam, let's go. All right, wait for me. Hey, look, another arrow over there. Sorry, my bad. Nathan? Over there, it's a ship. Oh, it's left a... Marco!
Marco. Who's Marco? Get it. Did you find anything? Yeah. Four hundred million and. Ha ha ha! Cute. See another one of those arrows. Looks like that one's pointing to that cave over there. Mm, giant gate. Good sign. Secret cave, stairs. This looks promising. thing would be a tourist attraction. And what about this big pillar in the middle of the cave? That looks climbable. Yeah, that could work. This is pretty cool. What? Climbing this cliff? Yes! Climbing this cliff on a giant <laughs> secret pirate island? I mean, come on. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I think it's pretty damn cool. <laughs> All right. Back in business. OK, hold on. <laughs> I gotta not follow my dad over here. <laughs> wow, Avery wasn't much for subtlety or understatement, was he? Well, he had the money. Let's get a closer look. entrance is blocked by debris. Again. Well, I guess Avery's builders clearly didn't take hundreds of years of erosion into account. Clearly. I need to find another way around.
Hey, Sam. Come on, give me a hand with this. Yeah, sure. Okay, come on through. Thank you. Nice sure thing. Yes. Lots of lifting and crawling under things, huh? The glamorous life of a treasure hunter. What do you suppose this place was? Well, these arches remind me of the St. Dismas Cathedral, but uh, I don't know. Bridge up there. Come on. Yeah. See what you can find up there. You got it. Well, there's a path, but I don't see another way up yet. So, hold on. Sam! You okay? At least I'm on the other side. Okay. Uh, still need to get you up here. Hang tight. <laughs> Sam! Anything? <clears throat> Sam, hey! You still there? <clears throat> God damn it. <clears throat> Let's see here. I ruined my marriage. Drove my best friend away. Got two psychos in their army. <clears throat> You're already up here? Where were you? Finding a way to get you up here. All right, just jump across then. Thanks. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Let's keep going. Okay. I tried to go. Couldn't find a way through, though. Ooh, look at that craftsmanship. Hang on a sec. <laughs> Sam! No good, it's a dead end. Ah, All right, we'll head on back then. What? There's got to be a way across. <clears throat> Guys, we don't need that. You're already up here. Let's Ugh. 
Anything? Hang on a sec. <laughs> Sam! No good, it's a dead end. Oh, shit. All right, we'll head on back then. <laughs> Now what? There's got to be a way across. <laughs> Nathan, here. The crate next to the bridge to climb back up. Yeah, that's where I tried to go. Couldn't find a way through, though. You didn't hear me? When? Back there. I called out to you. I didn't hear you. Why, were you worried? I was worried you got distracted. <laughs> I'm distracted now. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Shall we? Yeah, let's. <laughs> Not this way. Nice job. Sam, in here. Got it. Looks like we're still on the right track. Crazy shit like this. No, I can't say I did. 
did no one find me? Right behind you. Ah, that worked out. That is the second biggest cistern I've ever seen. It really the biggest. Sam, come around this way. Holy shit! <laughs> All right. You doing okay? Piece of cake. something no 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 one way or another we're getting in there let's just lift it together all right okay let's do this oh god this is heavy just think about all that treasure yeah mostly just thinking about my back <sighs> shit whoa Looks like we got ourselves another trial. That sure looks like it. Let's see what these do. Oh, okay. Some impressive engineering here. Symbols on the spheres don't match the ones in the light. Ah, they turn the symbols. That'll help. Finish what we started, huh?
Beach. Oh, bus ride. Look at that guy's name. So who was this Al Basra? He was a model. So What's he doing teaming up with Avery? Stories have it he was taken to be executed, but he got freed during the battle and blew up the Gunsway's gunpowder cash. Grateful Avery brought him along? Exactly. What about that other guy? Nobody? Here's some swordsman. symbols at once. go. Now you just gotta get him into the lights. Got it. Here we go again. Who we got? Let's see. Joseph Farrell, William Mays, Tariq Ben Malik, and Christopher Condon. Eight out of twelve. Look, the symbols on the ring are constantly rotating. Jesus. Bin Malik guy. Looks Moorish. Uh, yeah, that he is. What's he doing so far from the Barbary Coast? Same as us. Coming to where the action is.
given it four times. There. in our star pirate. Uh-huh. It's kind of weird. Let's see. Okay, where to now? Shit. Here's your missing Avery statue. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to get the feeling that our friend was a bit of a narcissist. You think? <laughs> yeah. Let's go see what he's got in store for us. That's, uh, that's a long way down. Hey, up here! I found a way back! So, Nathan, and be honest with me, how does this stack up? You know, compared to your other adventures. <laughs> Ask me again when we finish. Don't snap, don't snap, don't snap! <laughs> Didn't snap. Sweet. All right, come on down. Boat's down there. After you, Captain. with monstrous Avery statue is to the right. I'm so excited, my hand, my hands are literally shaking. Yeah, I know the feeling. It's either that or I just, you know, I need another cigarette. Maybe a little bit of both. He's got a spyglass, but he's not really looking through it. Maybe he wants us to look through it. Treasure Island, eat your heart out.
Come on, Sam. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you do the honors. I insist, come on. <laughs> okay. How are you? All right, Captain. What are we looking at? There. No skull. That's gotta be it. The Battaglia. <laughs> That's optimistic, considering everything. You know, it is just us here. You're allowed to feel just a little bit of excitement over this. Well, I'll get excited when we get Alcazar's noose off your neck. Come on. <laughs> okay. What? I said okay. No, 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 no. Your okays are never just okay. It usually means the opposite oh. of okay. Rafe? Who the hell else? Damn it! Sam!
supply box. Oh my God. Of course. Everything's gone. Yeah, maybe that's a good sign. Maybe Sam took it. Sad, can't lose anything else. Besides my life. Talking to myself, that's that's the first sign of crazy. <laughs> Yes. I. Sick Parvis Magna. Sam.
up we go. Oh shit! That's a, that's a long way. Long way down. your back, Sam. That should hold. Let's hope. to now. It's not reassuring. Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, 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 Jesus! Anyone come by here? Tall, lanky, filled with big, stupid ideas about pirate treasure. <clears throat> Bad luck, huh? Are you trying to climb up there? In those boots?
Pretty sure you don't need this. Yeah, it's working. Almost there. along the tree line. Well, that's the jungle over there, eh? It's all moving. I don't see anything. Damn it. All right, everyone. False alarm. But keep an eye out. Let's go. Over there, eh? Right here, eh? Need this!
Okay, where to? Oh, what's this? Wow, that is pretty dark. Seems like Burns' crew had about as much luck as me with this treasure. I can't be kidding me. No, 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 no. Holy shit. Shut your head off. Sam, you're okay. Yeah, nothing I can't walk away from. It's good to see you're alive, little brother. Come on, we got a treasure to find. Hold up, man, I mean, what are we doing? What do you mean? I mean, our supplies are at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Okay, so we go steal some from Nadine's army. Yeah, and there's that. We're going up against an army. We've been holding our own so far. While being marooned in the middle of nowhere. We were trying to get here, remember? When we had an escape plan. <laughs> Just hear me out. Crazy suggestion. Let's go down there and at least secure one of Rafe's boats. The boats can wait. <laughs> you want to know what we're doing here? We are buying my life back. Okay, and we're going to do that by stepping into that jungle and finding the Britalia. Have you? even seen any signs of a massive pirate colony. Because I sure the hell haven't. It's a little late to start developing doubts, don't you think? Look, can we at least acknowledge the chance that maybe Avery's idea for a secret pirate utopia didn't pan out? <laughs> and maybe we're just swept up in this fantasy when instead we should be looking for a real way to save you. I'm gonna scour this island inch by inch if I have to until I find that treasure. Now, if you're confused about what you're doing here, then you can go home, Nathan. Wait, 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 I can go home? Are you kidding me? Do you have any idea what I put on the line to get you here? About what I put on the line, okay? The last 15 years of my this life. This has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with that. What? Holy crap. You still wanna go home? Let's just see what else we can find. Start. Yeah, let's just hope the rest of it isn't buried under centuries of dirt and rock. Glass half full with you, please. Sam, 
Up here. I'm coming. Well, no one's home. This place has seen better days, huh? Yeah, the roof could use some work. Sam, this way. Ah, yeah, that's not happening. Hey, Nathan, I think there's a way through here. It's this way. This, place. this is no straw hut. Yep, some honest-to-God masonry in here. Well, where those masons come from? I mean, your average ship might have some good carpenters among them and coopers, but not masons. Ugh, feels good to stretch out again. Yeah, you said it. Hey, there's a way out. Uh, it's too high, even for a boost. Let's, uh, let's find something to stand on. There's a crate, I got an idea. Hey, we're in business. <coughs> You're gonna wanna see this. <coughs> what do you see? No houses, wide street. Clearly a commercial district of some kind. Yes, thank you for that, Nathan. Come on. What do you see? You just want to hear me say it, don't you? really want to hear you say it. All right. Libertalia. <laughs> Libertalia! The long-lost legendary pirate utopia discovered after 300 years by one Samuel Drake. And? And, and his... Younger, slightly less charming brother who happened to be tagging along for the right. You know, I always thought you'd make something of yourself one day. Yeah, just so you know, it's not my first lost city. You should, you should just enjoy the moment. So, where do you want to start? How about that building right over there? Oh, you mean the one with the massive guard tower? Yeah. I say we go see what it was guarding. Works for me. This is... I mean, I'm speechless. Holy goddamn shit, Nathan! That's your idea of speechless? God, how long do you think it took them to build this place? Years. Decades, either. How the hell did they keep it a secret all that time? It's just this place, I mean, even without the treasure, this is quite the find. Hey, Sam, check it out. It's like a pirate code of conduct.
point of this place was not having rules. Well, even pirate ships had their own rules. Hey, it looks like there's a path or something through there. This. There were families here. Yeah, so where the hell did everyone go? I mean, were they all raptured or something? Way. Follow me. Hey, Sam, come here. This looks promising. Right by. Looks like a hideout of some kind. Yeah, but who'd they be hiding out from? Themselves? Look at this. It looks like the layout of the commercial district. Uh, and boom, there's our treasury right there. See, there's the tower. What were these guys up to? this symbol? I saw a few of them when I was coming to find you. Who's marking these places? Is that another sigil? Maybe there was trouble in paradise. Secret society or rebels.
That's our way out of here. <clears throat> I see some light down below. Holy shit. Hey! Uh, I found more of the colony. What the? That's all of them. Grab any ammo you can. That won't be the last of them. You think they're looking for us or the treasure? <laughs> no and Rafe? Both. Rich boy was right. Lecker, about time we had a proper payday.
on, Sam. Is that thing steady? Steady as anything else around here. Oh, okay, so no. All right, all right. Here I come. There's some more friends up ahead. This whole place is falling apart. What's up, man? It's been all building over the edge. Hey, you ever done anything like this? No. I just saw a couple of government villages. This. This is something else. way I imagined that. That's it. For now, we just better keep moving. Over here. Come on, ready? Ready. <laughs> It's a long way down. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Oh, crap! Whew. Watch that first step. It's a doozy. Yeah. Is busted in the middle. We'll make do. Keep heading up. Hey. 
How you doing back there? A hell of a view. Okay, now what? Trust me and follow my lead, okay? like that. <laughs> Definitely in the high rent district now. Not residential though. You think some kind of administration building? Probably. Maybe Libertalia had a zoning committee. <laughs> Maybe they pay tax. Who knows? Nothing up here. <laughs> no way through up here either. Look at these materials. The place must have taken years and years to build. <laughs> Now with great piles of money comes no responsibility or well, restraint, apparently. Ish. Yeah, well, money can't buy taste. What the hell happened here? Some kind of battle. It's a rhetorical question. The real question is who's fighting who? And why? Some of these bodies look a bit more fancy. Look like soldiers. So it was the colonists versus the soldiers. And if that's the treasury up there. I fear someone was trying to make a withdrawal. Yeah, let's just hope they didn't succeed, right? This is a 
impressive. Uh, to say the least. Here we go. Or not. You wanna give me a hand? Yeah. It's empty. Of course it is. You think Rafe? No. Nothing's been touched in here for hundreds of years. Right. Well, search for clues? Yeah, search for clues. Thief? Empty. Another thief. Hmm. Lots of empty shelves here. Fancy clothes. Got a uniform. Uh, you were a guard here, weren't you? Nice job. Nathan, over here. Hey, Nathan, check it out. What do you got? The battalion money. It says Avery Sigil on it. <laughs> Must have melted down the gold, minted his own currency. So based on that, all the manifests on the shelves, the treasure was here. Yeah. Leaves the bigger question, where is it now? Okay, so we know that there was fighting outside. Yeah, Dan, inside. Do you think the colonists stole it? No. I think they were trying to reclaim what was theirs. Look, here's Avery, two. Founders of Libertalia. All marked with the word thief. Not murderer, not tyrant. Thief. So by the time the colonists busted in here, the treasure was already gone. Yeah, because these guys had already taken it for themselves. Pirates will be pirates, right? Uh, pirates will be pirates. Huh. I know where they moved it. What? Where? Oh, that's a map. Yeah, right there. 
That's our treasury. It's, it's a map of Libertalia. All right, so follow it to the other side of the island and look. Right there. New Devon. Avery was from Devon, England. He sure was. Man, those are some seriously large mansions. Each of them has its own sigil, too. Because that's where they lived. <laughs> what do you say we uh, climb that watchtower, huh? Get our bearings. New Devon, here we come. Now, how do we get up there? Okay, ready? Okay, that's step one. Step two. Raise the chandelier. Good idea. I'm surprised. Just take the compliment. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Now the place is looking classy. Let's get up there. Why don't you see if you can swing to that other chain? Oh, nice one, Tarzan. Sorry, Condon. Baldridge. What? You're stepping on Baldridge. Oh, so I am. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, you coming, Sam? Right behind you. Are you coming, Sam? Right behind you. All right. Up we go. I'm really shocked the stairs are intact. Hey, hey, hey. Don't jinx us. Oops. Spoke too soon. Like I said. Nathan, you seeing this tower? Sure am. Sam? Yeah? All right, just making sure you haven't plummeted to your death. Ha-ha. <laughs> just about there. <laughs> he sure is excited. Hey, can you get me up there? Come on, ready? Ready. <laughs> something. They stand back. Here you go. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, a treasure chest, huh? <laughs> Come on. Whoa. Quite the crow's nest, huh? There it is. you figure it'll take us to get the new Devon? Well, a couple hours. Depends on what or who we bump into along the way. Nathan! 
Let's try this again. Mango, Mango! What are you on about? Oh, it's my safe word. Mm. Are you always this clever? I have my moments. Yes. You and your brother have proven yourselves the more capable treasure hunters on the island. Shame we're not on the same side. There's, there's still time. Trust a trick. Mm. I'm not falling for that again. Hey, hey just, just let's talk about this. <laughs> Okay, that was a bit rougher than expected. I'll just uh, see myself out. After everything, you think I'm just going to let you walk away? That'd be the wise thing to do. Come on, Nadine, really? We know you're a badass and all, but 
There's two of us. I don't think my men are on their way here right now. All I have to do is buy some time. That's if I don't finish it myself. God damn it. Go! <laughs> I'm tired of this island! I'm tired of your brother! And I'm tired of you! I know you don't get fucked! We just talk about this! I don't think so! You're fast, but you're not that fast. Hey, forget about her. Come on, we gotta get out of here before they... Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody just... just calm down, okay? Well, this is interesting. Nate. Samuel. Put your guns down. All of you. No. Rafe, this guy's on edge. Oh, don't worry about him, Nadine. These guys don't kill anyone in cold blood. It's just not their style. You want me to bet her life on that? Go ahead, then. Shoot her. Sam. I die, you both die. So be it. Not another step! You mean... like this? Sam, put the gun down. I warned you. Do it! Rafe! It's done! Hold your fire! Don't shoot! Put it down. It's done. Okay? It's done. Don't worry, Nadine. It's not their style. I say, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> Samuel. You okay? I guess you knew this moment was coming, huh? Hey! <laughs> Come on, man. You already got us. Take it easy. Come on now, you're a businessman. Let's just, just work out a deal. Oh, a deal? Oh, yeah. I'll be here what you have in mind. <coughs> oh, you can go ahead. I'm listening. I just... I... You want to find Avery's treasure? We'll help you find it. And in exchange, I let you live? Yeah. That and a small cut. The gout shows on this guy. Just enough to get him his freedom, okay? His freedom? Nathan. Yeah. He did hard time. Our time. And the guy who broke him out, Hector Alcazar, he owes him a lot of money. Whoa. What the hell are you talking about, Nate? Hector Alcazar died in a shootout in Argentina like six months ago. I'm the one that got Samuel out. Oh. Wow. What did he tell you? Sam, what kind of story did you cook up? Alcazar? Really? You lied? You lied to your baby brother? We're wasting time! Just a second. Thing is, Nate, I never stopped looking for Avery's treasure. I just kept running into these dead ends. <laughs> and then I hear that our dear old Samuel Drake, an authority on Avery, is alive, and somewhat well. There was no breakout. I bribed the prison warden, and your brother, he just waltzed right out the front gate. He spent the last two years tracking down the second St. Dismas Cross. You know what? He did it all with me. Uh, oh, yeah? No, that's bullshit. Oh. Sam, care to refute? Nate. Oh, 
Sam. Jesus, no, no. Listen, Avery's treasure was ours. It was always ours. I left my life for you. <laughs> hey, look, look, Nate, if it's any consolation, he duped me too. He pulled a Houdini on me, he brought you and that old man back into the mix, and I cannot lie, Sam, that really pissed me off. But, <clears throat> all behind us now. You don't deserve it. You do? Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Rafe? What? One way or another, end it, or I will. Well, you heard the lady. Hey, you missed one clue, and you can kiss that treasure goodbye. You said it yourself, keep running into dead ends. Why don't you face it, Rafe? You need us. No, you're right. You're half right. I just need Sam. Wait, now you're making a mistake. Don't, 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 don't listen! Ah! Oh. oh, my God. Nate! Hey, Nate! There it is. Who the hell lives here anyway? I don't know, no idea. But this is definitely the address. Been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. <sighs> and here we are. Whoa. This place is humongous. <laughs> and then we can take the grand. Pretty sure the front door will be locked. <laughs> See? What I tell you? Mm, it was worth a try. Jeez. What do you think a place like this costs? Let's look around back, huh? Hey, Nathan, look. It's an open window. Oh, yeah. Here, follow me. Okay, give me your hand. All right, there you go. Come on, Nathan. Whoa. <laughs> Spooky. Oh, here. I brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Uh, just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? Nothing in here.
Nope. It's not gonna be in this attic. Boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. Huh. Yeah, that'll do. Down we go. So, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off-white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. <sighs> Here we go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No. It's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Nathan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? Yeah. It's probably a knockoff of some kind. Yeah, of course it is, right? Right. <gasps> oh, we budge. Here, let's do it together. You ready? It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Hmm. Sam. This is real. What is this place? Huh? Let's go find out. <laughs> Maybe fourth century. Hmm. Hey, you recognize that one? Uh, I, I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah, husband and wife, They're buried together. It's kind of dark, in like an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. This place is like a damn museum. <laughs> Think they've got a dinosaur wing? Wouldn't surprise me. Here's another one. <sighs> nope. I do believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer-dryer combo. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I was the funny one. Always was. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston, come on! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, check it out. Hot in there. I just read this one. Oh yeah? Is there any good? It's kind of incredible. It's about the first Western woman to visit Lhasa. I'll get there myself one day. So where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay, well. Here we go. India. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. Round and round she goes. Soviet Union. 
Let's go to Moscow. Hey, I might be a tad difficult to get in. I always wanted to see the Red Square, though. Wow. This table is as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. I bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn, they must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah. Looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. Hey, check out this crazy demon helmet. Is that a Viking helmet? Come on, you know Viking helmets don't have horns? It's Persian. Oh, my bad. Flintlock rifles. I wonder if they still work. Whoa, Horns of Arabia. Always wanted to see that flick. Oh, wow. They knew Amelia Earhart? No kidding. Man, they knew all the cool people. Since when do you like classical music? Excuse me, I am a man of many tastes. Samurai. Eh? You recognize the crest? Uh, hollyhock leaves are, um, let's see, don't tell me, don't tell me, uh, Tokugawa clan. Yeah, right you are. Can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? <sighs> Damn it. Journals about everything in the world, but nothing from Moth. It's a big house. Don't give up yet. Okay. I don't think Mom's journals are anywhere in here. Let's, uh... Let's check upstairs. Jousting armor. Looks French. Uh, Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in.
Hmm. It's locked. Vent. Up there. Oh, yeah. That could get us into the room below it. Not us. You. What? I, I can't fit in there. Can you handle it? You kidding me? Can't handle it. All right. Let's see what you got then. Smile, all right? Don't lose it. Don't fall. See you on the other side. Okay. It's a good thing I'm not claustrophobic. I'm in. Can you get the door open? Uh, hold on. <sighs> it's locked from this side, too. And look around. Is there a key nearby? Anything? Didn't see any journals. All right, well, we still got the other locked door, so come on.
Journals galore. Well, let's see what we find. something <gasps> This is it <laughs> Which is a paradise Slowly. Hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. What is he holding? Hey, 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 you keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I'm sorry, Nathan. So what now? Now, we wait. For the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady. It was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. Hmm. And at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it, he had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's boys. Uh. Hi. My God. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah, you're still nice, so, uh, do you mind? You knew her mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed. I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So, Mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness and... I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Sic parvus magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Sir Francis Drake's motto. Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate's secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. Forgive me. 
ramblings of an old woman. Here. It is as much yours as it is mine. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Yeah, so, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out, hmm? Yeah. Uh. <sighs> Thank you. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> All right, come on, Nathan. Let's go. Are you okay? Oh, holy shit. Hey. 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 Sam? Sam? Oh, the police. You all right? Wait. Window, come on! Okay, you check upstairs. You come with me. The front gate looks clear. Front gate. Got it. Okay. Hey, Dave! Is that all right? You there! Don't move! Run for it! This way! We can lose him! This is Officer Murphy. We've got two perfectly suspects on foot. One of them is Freeze, goddammit! I'd say we're clear. But we catch our breath for a second. Huh. 
Some night, huh? Some night. That old lady. Hey. Hey, you listen to me. That wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she... She was, um... Sick. I mean, it's okay to feel bad. But there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. You can't go back to your job. Then we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Oh, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan, back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined for something great. But until tonight, I didn't know what that meant. But this, Mom's unfinished work, this is our chance to restart our lives with brand new identities. What are you talking about? I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name, Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise, you and me together, we're gonna go far. So what do you say? Nathan Drake? Everything changed after that. You know, we became explorers, adventurers, and mostly thieves. Ow. Okay, just hold still. You know, for a while it felt like you know, if we weren't taking turns going to jail, it was because we were in jail together. And you know, after I lost him, I or after I thought I lost him. I... You didn't want to bring him back up again. Something like that. Well, that's it. Now you know everything. With you, I doubt that that's everything. But... It's a lot. I'd love to know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that you're lucky that I found you when I did. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't lose a limb or anything. <coughs> it would have been a royal pain getting you out of here. How did you uh, find me anyway? Oh, you know, easy. Just follow the sound of gunfire. <laughs> No, I mean, how did you get here? Oh, of course. <laughs> Come in, Sully. Hey, darling. How's he doing? Oh, you know, he's banged up, but he's alive, par for the course. Now we just need to rescue the other Drake. What do you mean? I'll let Nate tell you. Hey, pal. Glad you could join us. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. So what happened to Sam? Rafe's got him. Shit. You know where they are? Uh, yeah. They're headed to the northern side of the island. See if you can find a place to set down over there. Once we get Sam, we're gonna need to get out of here pretty quick. Copy that. Hey, hey what about the treasure? Forget it. We don't need it. But Alcazar... No, there is no Alcazar. It's all bullshit. Wait, you mean the dip, the... The escape? Yeah, Sam made it all up. What an asshole, right? Look, I'll fill you in on everything when I see you. 
Okay. Yeah, I can't wait. But you two be safe down there. You know us. Jaja. Thanks. Sure. No, I mean, thanks for saving me again. I almost didn't this time. Right. Come on. I got us a ride. So, we're headed to the northern side of the island? Yeah, New Devon. It's home to the founders of Libertalia. And that's where Rafe is taking your brother. The treasure's probably there. Just need to save Sam before they find it. Look. Up there. I borrowed it from your shoreline friends. You slid all the way down here, huh? Yeah, it was the quickest way to get down to you. Now we just gotta figure out another way back up. Yeah, here. Been here long? On the island? A few hours now. Did you see the colony? I did, from the air. Pretty incredible, right? I didn't get the full <sighs> tour. I was a little preoccupied with finding you. Right. <clears throat> Is that an elevator? Sure looks like it. I swear Avery recruited the best engineers of his time. He must have used it to move supplies up river. Yeah, that's a fair bet. There's your car. Just need to get up there. Well, what do you think? Which way? Well, let's take a look.
gotta be something around here. Nate, can you give me a boost up? All right, be careful. Yep. What? Oh. Hey, do you think there's another way up? Uh. Hey, I see a path up here. There's a way through over there. See if you can find something I can use. Yep. Hey, I found something. Hold on. Oh. Hey, nice jump. Not bad, right? Way to go, Nate. Piss a girl like that off. Idiot. Come on, I'll meet you around. I'm okay. Sort of. Everything's under control! See if you can get back up here. Yeah. Yeah, roger that. Looks like a dead end. Well, maybe the elevator still works. I doubt it. 300 years old. Been exposed to the weather, and who knows if it ever... Oh, look. like a dead end. Well, maybe the elevator still works. I doubt it. 300 years old. Been exposed to the weather, and who knows if it ever... It. Oh, look, it works. Going up? <laughs> Next floor, menswear. 
this works, it's, it's kind of incredible. Oh, jinxed it. I'll just uh, meet you at the top, I guess. Nothing to it. Now then, which way is the car? It'll be easier to spot from higher ground. Right. Good idea. This whole thing is powered by the water wheel down there. It's quite a feat for a bunch of pirates. You should have seen the stuff he built in Scotland. I mean, there was this... Hold up. You went to Scotland, too? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you see, the, the last place Avery was... Uh... Relax. Sully already told me. Ah. Right. some exercise at least, right?
Might be worth a shot. That's it. Shoreline certainly earned their reputation. Let's go before more of them show up. Hey, you see a way out? Upriver. There's an opening by the falls. Wow, check out that elevator. It's massive. I'm guessing New Devon's at the top. Then let's get up there. So here's my question. Why does Ray Fadler want Avery's treasure? It's not like he needs the money. What's the glory? I want to be known as a guy who only got rich because of his inheritance. Walking away isn't an option for him. Well, Rafe is a good match for Shoreline. He needs their muscle and they need his money. They do? They seem pretty well stocked. Shoreline got involved in a couple of civil wars that didn't pan out for them. Nadine inherited her father's mess. She's probably hoping that this will put her back on the map. So far, so good. Keep heading upstream. Bet you could write a killer article about all this. I could. I doubt anybody would believe it. Oh, you could take pictures, too. I don't think it's funny. I kinda wish I did, though. <clears throat> so, why do you think Sam didn't come straight to you after Rafe got him out of prison? I think he wanted to gather every clue that Rafe had on Avery before bailing on him. Plus, he needed time to come up with that crazy Alcazar story. I mean, if I just looked it up...
That is one crazy contraption. It looks big enough to fit the car. Well, here's hoping this one works as well. Hey, easy. All right, let's look around. Find out. Well, that didn't do anything. Stop the water wheel. Doesn't really help us, though. All right, let's try something else. on the balcony down there. go. Stand clear. I got it. Okay. How's that? Uh, looks like I can get up there now. Thank you. Thank you. 
nothing yet. I'm gonna climb higher. Need an elevator just to fix the elevator. I'm gonna detach the winch now. Okay! I'll bring the car to the elevator. Good call. Here we go. to uh... oh never mind okay all right hey watch out stay down use the car as cover let me see if i can flank her <laughs>
Hey, Elena? Nate? We're here, Sully. Where are you? Still in the air. Now a bunch of shoreline vehicles heading north. I guess we'll see them soon. You two doing okay so far? We hit a few hitches, but so far so good. All right, good. Keep in touch, will you? I'm not the no-news-is-good-news type. We'll try. Over and out. Okay, should be on the other side of the bridge. Hang on tight. Nate! Hold on! What? Oh, I hate bridges! No, 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 no! Oh, no. Oh, Turn around! We're heading for the falls! I can't! Current's too strong! trying to protect you. It's just, I, I made a promise that I was done with this life. We both did. Yeah, I was afraid. Afraid of what? Of losing you. I guess I was, uh, protecting myself. You know? We have a lot of ground to cover. Just keep moving. Yeah. This way. <clears throat> well, at least we're on the right side of the river now. Yeah. That would have been bad. Thing up there. <laughs> Avery sure picked a gorgeous island. Well, maybe we can come back here on a vacation, huh? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> By your lonesome? Now rest in peace, my pirate friend. Thank <laughs> you. 
Whoa. Oh, yeah. Ooh, judging by the clothes, they're colonists. Maybe it was a fight? No, I, I don't think so. Look how they're arranged. Yeah, you're right. They're stacked. They were just shoved against the walls. They were already dead when they were brought here. This is a mass grave, Nate. Hello? Who is this? I look at the sign. Sorry, buddy. No disrespect. <laughs> More gibbets. Nothing would had better be nothing. What the Go. Wait. There's no way I. Hey!
on. Howdy. Hey, over there. Got anything? Hey, you hear me? You okay? Yeah. Let's push on. Might be a way through this cave. Yeah, it's worth a look.
people did you bring here, Nadine? She does have an entire <clears throat> army. You think they found each other? Well, let's hope not. For Sam's sake. <clears throat> Look, there's something here. It's addressed to Richard Watt. It's signed Adam Baldrige. Founders? Look, we can climb up there. Yeah, but it's too high, even for a boost. Then let's look around. Ah, refreshing. Great. We'll get one down for us. After you. Oh, how sweet. You want me to be your decoy? No. I was being gentlemanly there. <laughs> Just busting your chops. Yeah, well, the chops are plenty busted already. Thank you. Ah. 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 
That wasn't too bad. Woo. You okay? Yeah. I'm fine. You? Well, wet again. Tired, bruised. A little hungry. I could eat. <laughs> Other than that, fine. <laughs> yeah. Whew, okay, come on. Let's keep going. Current's really strong here. Try cutting through this house. I'm right behind you. Colonists flooded this place? Well, they definitely had the motivation. But you don't think it's them. I just find it odd that all these houses are underwater except for one. Rivers. Exactly. Cannons look like they were retrofitted. Yeah, improvised defenses. Guess they didn't expect they'd be fighting each other. Guess not. Ooh, nice water feature. Time for another swim, I guess. Whoa, whoa! Stronger than it looks.
current's too strong. Gonna have to find another way to the other side. I'll weigh it down for you. Great. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Make a great counterweight. Uh, I mean... Okay, I'll choose to take that as a compliment. As well you should. Made it. I'll find a way up for you. This should work. 
work. All right, stand clear. Here you go. Hey, great. Move this out of the way. Yep. Okay. Hey, look. Thomas II's sigil. So we're in his mansion. Second in command. Going up the pirate hierarchy. <laughs> Looks like we're a little late. Hey. Nate. Check it out. It's another sigil. Oh my god. What? It's them. Elena, these are the pirate captains that founded Libertalia. What the hell happened here? Well, I'm no forensics expert, but I would say... Bad drinks? Apparently. So what was this? Some kind of wealthy pirate suicide cult? <laughs> yeah, not likely. Not these guys. On behalf of Lord Avery, I invite you to my manor at sundown tomorrow. The time has come to abandon our animosities and reunite under the banner of God and Liberty. Signed, Thomas II. What do you bet? Thomas II, Henry Avery. Looks like our hosts didn't stick around to clean up their mess. Well, that wasn't very gracious of them. Okay, so... So these guys sparked a full-scale revolt when they claimed the treasure for themselves. Now, they took care of the colonists, but then they had to deal with each other. And I'm guessing things got pretty messy. So, Avery and Two invite them up here to, um, uh, what was it, uh... Abandon our animosities. Abandon the animosities. Avery makes a grand toast. For God and liberty! Arg, ahoy, mateys, all that. <laughs> and they all take a swig. Except these two. And just like that, all the treasure of Libertalia becomes the sole possession of two men. <laughs> these are some of history's greatest pirates. And they all perished in an instant, at this very table. It's incredible. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I, uh... I'm sorry. It's okay. So, since our missing hosts aren't here at Two's Manor... We should head over to Avery's. Yeah. Let's go. There. For posterity.
Hey, up here. Slowly. Right behind you. Be careful. Oh. Okay. I'm okay. I got it. I'll meet you up top. Hey. Hi. Shoreline truck is still there. And we are officially inside Henry Avery's house. <laughs> More cannons, just like a two's mansion. I guess the poison is mightier than the cannon. What? You know, because he ended up poisoning. Yeah, it was bad. Sorry? Yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> Word of the day, ostentatious. So why didn't he kill Thomas too? Was he like his right-hand man? Yeah, that's exactly what he was. <laughs> Can you imagine taking orders from a paranoid psychopath? This sounds like my first job. What, the producer on your TV show? No, my manager from Macho Nacho. You worked at a Macho Nacho? It was a high school job. Did you wear one of those hats? The point is, my boss was a paranoid psychopath. He was the manager at a Macho Nacho. Just watch it, okay? Look, Shoreline barricaded the front door. And left a bunch of muddy footprints behind. Let's see where they went. More footprints. So, where are all the Shoreline guys? I know, right? I expected to see someone by now. Yeah, it's like they all up and vanished. You don't suppose they're pirate ghosts. Don't even joke about that. Hmm. Footprints go through this door. <clears throat> Crap, it's blocked from the other side. Why bother barricading their path unless... They found something. All right, help me push this open. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, 
shit! Hey. Jesus. You all right? Yeah. They were just waiting to ambush us. Yeah. All right, let's get that door open. See what they didn't want us to find. Okay, here we go. You ready? It's a letter. Signed by... Avery. Really? Read it. My loyal subjects, as the sun sets on our glorious paradise, we must endeavor to preserve its riches. The traitorous, too, knows our secrets, so we must act quickly. Destroy the dam, cleanse New Devon. Here we go. Uh-huh. And move my treasure through the passage to my ship. Two and Avery turned on each other. Are you really surprised? Well, I guess not. Here you go. Thanks. Let's go find that passage. There's no more footprints. They end here. Okay, so where did they go? Pirate ghosts. <laughs> Let's look around. Sam's lighter. Did he drop it? Yeah, on purpose. Whatever it is we're looking for has to be somewhere around here. There's got to be another way out of this room. Maybe that passage Avery mentioned in the letter. But where's the switch? Nate. Yeah. Did you find something? I think so. Whoa. <laughs> the thing they figured that 
that out for us. How did you do that? There's a bloody fingerprint right here where Libertalia should be, and I pushed it. Nicely done. So the letter said that Avery was moving his treasure to the ship. Yeah. Do you think the treasure's still on that island? I think, uh, I think it doesn't matter anymore. Here we go. Watch your head. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Looks like Avery built himself a panic cave. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where this goes. <laughs> Crap. Guess we're gonna find out. This place doesn't look very stable. Caven. Look, fresh footprints. They must have come this way. That's a lot of footprints. That's a Crap. My money's on Nadine's men. They'll use any excuse to use dynamite. They'd have to be pretty dumb to use it in here. Yeah, they're pretty dumb. <coughs> whoa, whoa, hold up. So, some kind of death trap? Uh, yeah. But Sam and the others somehow made it across. We just gotta follow their lead. Ugh. So bad if it didn't freak so much. Just don't go where the footsteps aren't. <laughs> what? I'm just a little preoccupied with not blowing up right now. And unclench. Whew. Lena, look. Footprints stop here. They must have made it through and it collapsed behind them. Gonna move this out of the way here. Yeah. Damn it. We'll have to find another way. Oh no. Just hold out a little longer.
Come on. Damn it. Hey, you still have Sam's lighter? Yes. Good idea. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Of course he used it all up. Smoked like a goddamn chimney on the boat right over. Relax. I brought some matches. You did? Of course. There we go. Oh, sorry. Just one sec. Hello? Over here. Ow. Ow, that's my head. Ow. Ugh, tripped. Over here. Thanks. Glad you came prepared. Somebody had to. Come on, let's find a way forward. Nice romantic lighting, huh? You have a funny idea of romantic. Hey, this looks promising. Boost you up? Yeah. Come on. Huh? <clears throat> okay, uh, here we go. Uh, <clears throat> okay, come on up. Thanks. Watch your head. Yeah. Careful. <clears throat> Whoa. What the hell is this? This is creepy. Hands that stole from me. Wow, Avery's not even pretending to be sane at this point. I don't like this place. Me either. Let's get out of here. Hey, Victor, with all due respect, maybe just You just this... don't know when to quit. Look, we're all here for the same reason, right? Right? We didn't come after the treasure. We came after you. And I appreciate that. I, I, I do. But we're good. And we've got the lead for now. <laughs> we can do this. Nathan, come on. Huh? Look around. Okay? Avery scuttled every last ship on this island. You know why? Because he was hell bent on keeping his treasure. Exactly. No matter the cost to the others around him. <sighs> because he didn't want anyone to follow him. Because he was leaving. Look at this. I found his map of the island, okay? That's his ship right under that mountain. That's where our treasure is. And it is exactly where Rafe is headed right now while we stand around here and argue like idiots. What if he's already left the island and his ship sunk somewhere out there in the middle of the ocean? Then we find out where it got sunk. Oh, boy. How long we have been chasing this thing, huh? <laughs> you and me. No offense to these guys, but they don't get it. Actually, Sam, they do. They really do. Okay. And trust me, they've seen this kind of obsession before. <sighs> Sam, we're not those kids anymore. We're not. And we got nothing to prove. Victor, where's that plane? Right this way. Is it far? Not very. <laughs> Just through this port. <clears throat> What did Shoreline set up an ambush by the plane? They didn't. And what makes you so sure? 
Because they're heading to the mountain. For the treasure. This way. There she is. It's a long drop. How did you get here? I hopped down a few of these walls, but I guess we'll have to find another way around. What the hell was that? That came from the mountain. It's Avery's traps. Hey, that means they're blowing themselves up. No, it means they're on the right path. Hey, come on. Let's just stay focused, huh? I jumped down from up there. It's too high to get back up. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's something we can put under it? Give me a hand, Sam. All right. Hey, you need a hand? Hey, no thanks. We got it. Anyone see a way out? Hey guys, through here. Getting there. I can't wait to sleep in my own bed again. So close, yet so far. Whoa, check that thing out. It's like a sky rail or something. Think it still works? There's no controls, but I bet I could pull the platform with my rope. What the hell are you doing, kid? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Maybe if you could get to that one platform down there. I got an idea. Nathan, give me a hand. Okay. Victor, can I borrow you for a sec? Sure. All right, go ahead, Nathan. There, we'll hold it down. You jump across. You're not gonna drop me. <clears throat> Made it! Here we come. Okay, we're ready. This is some impressive engineering for a bunch of pirates. This is nothing. You should have seen the elevators. Wait, yeah, the elevators? Massive ones. Whoa! Hang on! You guys all right? Yeah. It's like a roller coaster. Come on up, Nate. All right, Nathan, you climb on up. I'll grab you. Go! Jump off, quick! Nate, give me a hand! Sam! Bitch! Sam, come on! Huh? Come on, just jump, I'll catch you! Let's go! No. 
No, no, don't you even think about it, you hear me? I'm sorry I got you into this. All of you. Hey, all that doesn't matter anymore, okay? Just, just jump. I gotta see this thing through, Nathan. Sam, hey, listen to me. If you do this, I'm not coming after you. You hear me? I'm sorry. Sam. Sam! Oh, stupid, stupid. You called your bluff. He's gonna get himself killed. Come on. She's, she's probably right. Of course she is. Let's go. Up here. Maybe we can head him off. I'm gonna save him, and then I'm gonna punch him. All right, let's just worry about the saving part first. What the hell is he thinking? I mean, after everything that we... Wasn't this enough? Let's just find him. Hey, we can get over that wall with this. Come on. Here, we got you. You ready? supposed to get up there we don't have enough time Nate no not by yourself Look, I'll come right back okay Look, he is not gonna leave without a fight well then I'll fight him if I have to but either way I'm bringing him back just get the plane as close to the mountain as you can and be ready for a quick getaway like there's another kind it's not fair Doing the dishes, we take turns. Don't even think about not coming back. <laughs> I love you. Same to you, cowboy. I'm sure he's a ways off by now. <clears throat> Just gonna head to the creepy mountain, save Sam, get the hell out of here. Yeah, be laughing about the whole thing tomorrow. Back on the trail. The footprints end here. Oh, come on, which way did he go?
Here we go. Back on the trail. The footprints end here. Footprints. Well, you didn't fall to your death, so that's good. Still get a chance to kill you. Jesus Christ. this <laughs> more footprints well in we go hey Sam Jesus! I swear, Sam, if Rafe and Nadine don't kill you, I just might. This is so much harder than it looks. Saver ship. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> 
All right. I guess this is my way down. This is my way down. I guess this is my way down. <laughs> This is my way down. <laughs> Did you really do all that, Sam? I doubt it. I found the dry way down. That's painful. Way down. Almost done here? This is the last of them, ma'am. Good. Sam just stole our goddamn boat. He's headed for every ship. Come on. Let him. We're done. We're done. Most of my men are dead, Rafe. And those who aren't have already left. Can you see that? The end is literally in sight. That maniac pirate of yours has rigged this entire cave. I'm not setting foot on his ship. Nadine, if you cut and run right now, the loss of all your men, everything that we've done, is for nothing. We have millions in gold right here. I'd say that plus our lives is something. No wonder so many of your men abandoned you. Excuse me? We're on a verge of making history here, and you're willing to just walk off with a pittance, a fraction of what Sam's gonna get from that boat. If he can walk away from that ship alive, he can have it. Hell, I'd say he's earned it. God knows you didn't. Now look, we can stand here and insult each other all day, or we can finish what it is that we've <laughs> Oh, we're finishing it, all right. Sorry, ma'am. Yeah. Thing about mercenaries, Nadine, their loyalty, it's bought. It's not earned. Now, come on. Either we can finish this thing together, or we can just end it right here. Let's go make history. And a girl.
by all means. <laughs> Let's see what you have in store for us, Captain Avery. treasure. God damn. Was it worth it? Hey, Nate. Where is Sam? Oh, he's right there. Sam? Relax, he's alive. This idiot nearly got us all killed. I'm getting him out of here. No, you're not. But if you can have the treasure, all right? Just let me save my brother. <coughs> <laughs> After everything he's done? How noble of you, but no. We stay here any longer, and we're all dead. Is that what you want? It's not what I said. What do you think, Nadine? <coughs> right there of his gun. Hand it over. You really think you can trust him? Huh? Not your concern. Now, why are you trying to instigate? Nate? Nadine and I are partners. I don't screw over my partners. Get over there. You and your brother, though. Right from the start, you took advantage of my generosity. You tried to cut me out, and it's high time you learn. What are you doing? Now you give me your gun. <laughs> Nadine? I won't ask you again. You are being profoundly stupid right now. Look over there. Nadine, stop screwing around. Jesus! I said look! Okay, it's a couple of skeletons. So what? I don't know as much about history as you boys, but I've got a pretty good idea who those two are. Well, enlighten us. It's Avery and two. 
They killed each other. Good for them. What's the point? Everyone obsessed with this treasure gets what they deserve. So what, you're just leaving us here to die? Oh, I'm just leaving. Whether you die or not, I don't really care. Nadine, wait. So long, Rafe. Nadine! Nadine! You open this goddamn door right now! Rafe, she's gone! Come on, give me a hand, we'll all get out of here. won't work. Come on, help me with Sam and I'll help you open the door. Well, I'm not going to be able to enjoy one of these coins, knowing that you and your worthless brother are still sucking here. Hey, just, just calm down. You can practice your fencing when we get outside. Nate, just shut up. Seriously, Rafe, this is... You want to hear and say... Seriously, Rafe, this is insane, even for you. You want to hear insane? Nathan Drake raced a madman and his entire army to the steps of Shambhala. That's Jesus. Nathan Drake found the lost city in the middle of the Rubal Kali Desert. God damn it. Come on, we can get out of here together. Nathan Drake discovered the fable, El Dorado. Jesus. Come on, Rafe, stop. Nathan Drake is a legend. <laughs> You know, I, I shot the man who told me that. Look, I get it. You don't like me very much. You know, for all your greatness, Nate, you have nothing. You are nothing. And I warned you to get out of my way. Sacrificed everything to find Avery, and I'm not gonna let a couple of stupid thieves, a senile con man, and a washed up journalist take that away from me! You care about that parade of losers so much, I'm going to make sure they join you. On guard, dickhead. That's the spirit. You know how to sword fight? Yeah. Just think you were a shark, right? Oh, shit! Dodge! Parry! No! Come on! Come on, Nate! Damn it. That little cut there, Nate! Somewhere. What the hell's wrong with you? 
Stay in burn with this ship, you'd be my guest. You got me. You know what, Nate? Underneath all the bravado, you're just a sad little boy with delusions of grandeur. Who, by the way, can't fence for shit. So long, Nathan Drake. Nathan! Treasure Rafe. It's all yours. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, come on, let's get you out of here. It's too heavy. Strike it. Try again! It's no use. Come on! Nathan! Damn it! Listen to me. Listen to me. All I ever wanted to do was find this treasure with you. Is that me? Sure. We did it. We did it, brother, okay? It's all right. There's gonna be another way. Nathan, you gotta go. There's gotta be some. Gotta go! This tough! There is no other way! Come on, Nathan. I gotta know you made it out all right. Nathan, the whole place is about to blow up! That's it. That's it! What the hell are you doing? You stress me! God damn it! Let's get your head down!
Shit. Oh, Nate. Nate. Hey. Come on, I got you. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh. Hey. <coughs> hey, Sully, I got him. Where are you? We're right here. So, yeah, feel free to sell anything I left behind. <laughs> sure, I can't give you a lift home. After the last few days, I think I'd like a plane with drink service and reclining seats. Plus, uh, she and I have a lot to talk about. Yeah, you do. And no more late-night phone calls about one last time. <laughs> Promise. Thanks, Sally. Take care, kid. Don't be a stranger. Next time you're in town, beers are on me. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> and then the bunny escapes anyway, and it leaves little bunny surprises all over the headmaster's bed. Hey, 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 what are you telling her? Just about your little magic phase. Oh, I hate you. What was your stage name? Go on, tell her. Nate the Great. <laughs> it's not funny, it makes sense. In his defense, he was actually, you were pretty good. Uh huh. Hey, look, Sam, it has been an experience getting to meet you. But the handshake? Well... Bring it in for the real thing, sister. You take care of this gnome skull, all right? Yeah, I will. I'll join you in a sec. Yeah. I like her. God help her, she sure seems to love you. <laughs> I know, right? Listen, the offer still stands. I appreciate it, but I'm good. I know, but if you feel like you're imposing, it's, you're not. We not talked about, about that. it. It's not about that. It's a little bit of that, okay? Yeah. But I just kind of thought that after we found Avery's treasure, I'd be satisfied. Uh -huh. Instead, I've uh, <laughs> kind of left with this strange feeling of emptiness. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, as thrilling as the next adventure might be, in the end, I always left with that same feeling. And sometimes you just gotta choose what you're gonna keep and what you're gonna let go. Well, I guess I'm just not there yet. And besides, you know, you've got a few ancient cities on me. I can't let that slide. So. Yeah, I left a couple out there. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's, that's our ride. Yeah. Uh, Sam. Come far. We sure have a little brother. Come here. Listen, you don't do anything I wouldn't do, all right? Get out of here, Vemos. <laughs> What's next for you, hmm? Hmm. <laughs> well, before I got dragged into this, I was working on a business deal of sorts. Of sorts? Hmm. Dangerous? Mm hmm. With these people, yeah. It's up there. Well, I just so happen to know a certain someone recently out of prison who might be perfect for this kind of work. Ooh, I don't know. Is he trustworthy? More or less. As is Portuguese. Quando seu marido volta para casa? What's that mean? How long before your husband gets home? <laughs> That'll do. Come on. You got any more of those cigars? Don't push your luck. Ah, 
<laughs> hey, good morning. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. <laughs> ah. All right, I'll bite. What's going on? Land a big contract or something? Oh, even better. I'm on the verge of selling Jameson Marine. No kidding? Yeah. Wow, that... Well, hey, I guess, I guess congratulations are in order, huh? Well, not yet, but I'm confident it'll go through. They drove a hard bargain, but in the end, I think we came to a uh, mutually beneficial agreement. That's, that's great. Are, are you gonna stay on? No, 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 no. I think I'd like to just relax, hang with the family, go fishing every chance I get. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> so who's the sap who's gonna buy this place? Oh, uh, you are. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, come on, seriously. Oh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> Wait, Jameson. Hey, wait, wait up, man. Hey, morning, guys. What are you doing here? Just thought I'd take, you know, one final look. Already gave your husband the keys. Okay. Uh, Perfect. Is, is this for real? Nate, all you need to know is that you'd be making a very wise investment. Do the right thing here. Call me when you're through. You got it. Hi. Hi. You, you're buying Jameson Marine? We are buying Jameson Marine. Oh, okay. How? Why? Well, I heard this rumor about a salvage job off the coast of Malaysia, and I thought it'd be right up no, our no, alley. No, Honey, look, we barely got out of Libertalia alive. Yeah. Hey, taking an illegal job? You know what that leads to. Who said it was illegal? <laughs> Look. This came in this morning. Is this legit? Yeah. Some of my old contacts out there, they worked their magic with the Malaysian permit office. <laughs> it was great. I didn't even have to bribe anyone. Well, that's good, because I don't know how we could possibly even afford to do this. Here. Hold out your hand. What? Hold out your hand. Come on. Holy crap. Where did you get this? It was in my jacket pocket. <laughs> Along with a bunch more. A bunch? Sam. He's a sneaky one. Yeah. Of course, most of them are gonna have to go into our venture here, along with all the new camera gear. Camera gear? Yeah. You know, I figured as we're pulling all the cargo up from the dive, we could hire, you know, a small crew. We could film the whole thing and resurrect my old show. What happened to just... Living a normal life. I think in our attempt to lead a normal life, we may have oversteered. Look, when I was on that island, I missed the adventure. I missed us. And so now we have a chance to do what we love. But from here on out, we are gonna operate on a strictly legal basis, all right? And I will be doing all of the shooting with my really expensive camera. Wow. You've really thought all this through, haven't you? More or less. But listen, just say the word and I will call the whole thing off. What? Oh, no, 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 no. I I don't want to be that guy who ruins Jameson's early retirement like that. That'd be cruel. Right. <laughs> it's not going to be easy, you know. Nothing worthwhile is. 
So. What do you say, Nathan Drake? Sure, why not? Hmm. Yeah, as long as I don't have to do any paperwork. <laughs> well, I can't do it. I'm gonna have my hands full with the camera. Well, I'm gonna have my hands full with all the diving. Okay. Fine. We'll take turns. Yeah. Or... I could play for it. Seriously? No, listen. I have been practicing. I'm getting good. No. My hand eye is way I better than it used to be. Your... Really? <laughs> I cannot do that to you again. Are you afraid to play me? I am so not afraid On a to scale of you. one to ten, how scared are you to play me? Like a three. Yeah. Well, jack that up to like eleven. All oh, right? Because... Uh, I'm coming for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. That's... Okay. Fine. You're on. Mom? Dad? Anyone? Yoo-hoo! I think they abandoned us. Sam and Sully are coming to visit. Hey! <laughs> Off she goes. Taj Mahal, here I come. Just a few more weeks. Ah, <sighs> perfect day. Now all we need is the rest of our boat crew.
And not here either. Okay, I guess I'll just wait then. Got the search area narrowed down quite a bit. You figured it out. <laughs> so goofy. He left his keys. He left his keys. There's no way. There's just no way. Spanish doubloon, but from where? Oh, nice uh, gun holster, Dad. Kind of creepy. Kind of cool. Gunsway heist? Wait, did you go looking for Avery's treasure? from small beginnings. Huh. What's this? What the hell? Oh shit. Crap. Hey, there you are. Hey. Been looking for you. What are you doing in here? Uh, looking for you guys. Come on, we loaded up the boat. It's ready. Cool. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Why? Uh, I just need to, um... Uh, What's up, get... Cassie? Okay. Don't be mad.
Hey, I said don't be mad. Keys. <sighs> so, what did you see? Nothing really. Well, just that photo of you two and Sully. With a bunch of Spanish looking treasure. And a shotgun. This is bound to happen sometime. Maybe we should just tell her. She's not ready for it. Ready for what? All that crazy shit in there? Language. Yeah, language. Sorry. But you guys are literally keeping skeletons in your closet. Or at least a silver skull of some kind. You know, I don't think I'm ready for this. Really? Nate? It's time to have the talk. <sighs> yeah, it's totally time. Wait, which talk are we talking about here? She's just a kid. She's older than you and Sam when you started That's, all of this. That is different, and you know it. Okay, look, if you guys were into some shady stuff, it's totally cool. <laughs> but I think I'm old enough to know about it, right? Old enough? How old are you again? Ah, <sighs> funny. Mom? All right. Well, let's see. Um, for me, it started when this guy called me up with a scoop on a massive historical find. <laughs> it sounded like a complete fraud. Yeah, handsome fraud. No, I hadn't even met him yet. She knew. <laughs> she knew. So this fraud says, if you fund the trip, then I'll give you the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. And for the record, I totally delivered. Yeah, he delivered us into the hands of Indonesian pirates. No, come on, you know I had nothing to do okay, with that. Okay, guys, time out. You're saying that you were attacked by pirates after you found the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that, pretty that's much right. it, yeah. Bullshit. Oh, language. language. Crap. Better. All right, so keep going. You know what? The sun is up, boat's ready, wind is just right. You want to continue the story? I say we do it on the water. Come on. Well, wait, what would Francis Drake look like? Was it gross? Actually, he wasn't in there. Yeah, just his journal with a map to El Dorado. The city of gold? That's the legend. Turns out it was just a statue, a cursed statue. No way, seriously? Yeah, seriously. But uh, I'll get back to that. 